Hello guys, welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to be working on the Team Corali Skeeter. Took it out this morning, I was very impressed with it. Very quick, initial upgrade we done, we knocked that pinion gear up from a 13 tooth up to a 15 tooth, which gives the car a lot of speed. Motor got a little bit hot, but it wasn't hot that you couldn't, that you'd fry an egg on it. It was, it was pretty hot, it was a warm day, but it wasn't... Um, overly hot so initially when i bought the car the first i've heard a lot that this car suffers from air control so i went out and bought these d boots from the armor creating the armor outcast v2 and you, as you can see they are quite considerably bigger the offset is also a little bit different so they were too close to the body so i looked up i done my research and i looked up razor rc's video where he um, extended the width of his um, Team Corali Skeeter. So I've got all the parts. There's quite a few of them, but I bought them from a guy on eBay called RC Spares that kind of like breaks down cars like um, Corali and Armour and stuff. He's a bit like Jenny's RC, but it's in the UK and his prices are amazing. So initially, we have got some front knuckles you can see the part number that's a part for the front the front knuckles you also need the extended front dog bones and drive cups drive shaft cvg cvj joints whatever cv joint constant velocity joints you know what i'm on about so you've got extended ones of them we've got the the wider rear hubs i'll put the part numbers for all this down below and you also need the extended drive shafts so these are spring steel so if you can see that there boys so yeah we've got that also um i also bought myself some m2c plus 10, 10 millimeter um hub extenders i'm not overly keen on putting these on because i think they add stress to the ball joints but we're going to see how wide it is once we've done the modifications. Currently, the car sits at 14 inches wide. So, we'll see how we get on. Also, from Model Sport, they do these POS bumpers. They're like, um, like T-Bone used to be back in the day. So, yeah... I'm, the front bumper on this, the front bumper on this is a bit, um, is a bit sketchy like, so we're going to put that on. So we're going to start off by working on the back. I'm going to do the back and then um, we'll measure how wide it is and then we'll go from there. So it shouldn't be too much work, just basically pop the wheels off, take, change the hubs. So when we come back, that will be done, boys. And there you go, guys. There's the back done, and we've gained an inch. So the front was 14, and it's now 15. So overall, we've gained half an inch, which in my mind isn't really enough for these tyres on. So I'm going to do the front. We'll get the standard wheels on, and then we'll um, reevaluate. We'll do that next just um a quick note when you're changing the drive shafts on the front you don't actually use the drive shafts because they're incredibly long these must be for the like um akagama or something so you just need the um the shaft ends the cvg cvj i don't even know what i don't even know what these are called but anyway these um cvj joints yeah so you only need them because they're stupidly long. So yeah, easily done. Just take the springs off and you can do it. So jobs are good. And there you go, guys. There's the um, extensions on. So it's now 15 inches wide instead of 14. But I think I want it wider still. Got very much an outcast look about it. But um, yeah, I'm going to put it, extend it a little bit more. Got to readjust the steering on it. But yeah, I'm going to put them... Um, m2c hub extenders on and see how it goes basically plug and play see how we get on so we'll do that next. and here you go guys that is the look i was going for nice wide 
probably could do looks like it needs a bit lower but we want that ground clearance but yeah very um yeah stunt truck i'm not sure if it's going to have the power to pull stunt trucks and i'm not sure what the heat's going to be like with these big wheels on but you know you got to try these things haven't you? you've got to spend your money on something so yeah that's it done now it's just a case of getting that bumper on and the car will be done so hopefully the bumper won't take too much work but when we come back the car will be finished there you go guys that is the look i was going for i'm well happy with that now that front bumper looks absolutely boss it's so hard so tough well yeah hopefully we can get jumps out of it because if not we're gonna have to get a 6s yeah took it out today and it was impressive so hopefully this now will just make it a little more a little bit more stable yeah, it's quite it handles like a buggy actually because it's like you don't you don't you expect it to handle a bit awful but the handling on it's pretty nice but yeah just got to kind of like adjust the steering a little bit because putting them um, extra long hubs on the outside has just put the tracking out a little bit so yeah that's pretty much it boys there's a bumper from underneath you can see nice solid uses all the original hardware and you get new screws but yeah I'm happy with that. So just a quick little video, guys. As always, thanks very much for tuning in and in joining me on this RC adventure. As always, catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah.